Let's write and draw today. Itchy eyebrow, Christmas tree in the back. Today I'm going to be starting a short script. I wrote the outline for it yesterday and so I'm ready to go. I am trying to gather art and writing together for this pitch idea I have and I want to get to pitching again. I pitched quite a few times this year and um, I'm kind of addicted to it and I want to keep pitching. <laughs> Back in July I had a friend who is a content manager for an animated show they were trying to get off the ground and she asked me if I had any ideas for it and almost pretty much on the spot I came up with this idea. I know I wanted to make a spooky animated series but I couldn't quite figure out how to execute it and for some reason when people ask you hey you have any ideas then your brain goes yes I do let me start telling you everything I'm thinking about and things just start falling into place. I don't think that's going anywhere because it's December and I haven't heard back but I fell in love with the idea and I've been having so much fun writing the scripts for it that I just want to move forward with it on my own and pitch it out there. Without giving too much of it away, it's basically a spooky animated series of short stories, kind of like a Tales from the Crypt or Monster of the Week, but it's they're all connected by one location and we'll have recurring characters that will serve as interstitials between the shorts, but I think that's all I'm gonna say for now. <laughs> but I think I need to, you know, start writing. <laughs> Just finished my first 30 minute sprint and I got four pages written. It's time to stretch. Where do those eyebrows go? You got lots of eyebrows. He's like pleading with you, mm -hmm. trying to get me to stop. Please stop. Can you tell her to stop? Please stop. Look at them go, they're wiggling so much. more minutes down and I made it to page seven. It's a pretty good pace. I should be able to finish the script in another sprint or maybe two sprints, but either way I'm gonna have a first draft done today. It's probably not gonna be great, but it is a first draft. Right now I'm just taking a couple minutes to do a lap around the house to stretch my legs before I sit back down and get back in it. Gotta do your stretching. sprints, a dog walk, and a lunch later, I have written my first draft of 11 pages. It's probably all terrible, but that's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> Honestly, I always write a terrible first draft to begin with. I think all the real writing and all the real work comes in from editing. You just need to get terrible words written down so you can have something to look at and fix later. And at least that's my process anyways. But that's enough writing for today. We're gonna move on to drawing. For today's drawing assignment, that I've given myself. I'm going to be making thumbnails based on the first script I wrote for the same project. Uh, ideally, I want to time all the thumbnails out just to see how long the episode ends up being. Uh, also, just to play around with direction some because I have a lot of ideas of how I want it to look, but you can't necessarily get that across in a script without making a, a shot list. <laughs> 
Also, I'm going to take a couple of the panels from the thumbnails and completely render them out so that we can see what a completed frame would look like if this were to be taken all the way to finish. And I'm very excited about that part and hopefully can get that started next week. But till then, we're gonna do our thumbnails first. I'm not that quick at doing thumbnails, so this might be slow going at first. Hopefully I'll pick up speed, but we should get started and uh, I wanna stand up. Got tired of standing. I could only stand for like 30 minutes. <laughs> looks nice back there. I'm trying to decorate slowly this year for Christmas since there's not a lot else going on, uh, you know, since it's 2020 and there's a pandemic. I'm just trying to spread out the fun rather than my usual do everything in one day. Right now the tree just has lights on it and no ornaments, uh, but I'll probably get to that this weekend. So I've been thumbnailing for only about an hour and it's a little on the boring side. <laughs> thumbnailing isn't very exciting to begin with, but it works much the same way as a first draft for writing, is you have to get all these crappy drawings out and then you can go back over and make them make more sense. <laughs> right now it's just important to get a placeholder and then you can start fine-tuning your shots and fixing your perspective problems and making the acting more clear if you wanted to develop the thumbnails further into a board which um, I probably will if I want to bring it into a premiere and make an, a moving animatic out of it but for now we're only focusing on thumbnails. They have made me pretty sleepy <laughs> to be honest uh, it's about 4.30. It's my usual uh, get sleepy time. I'm actually 16 weeks pregnant and I'm not able to have caffeine. <laughs> so uh, not only do the hormones make you sleepy, but you're also not allowed to drink a lot of caffeine to uh, counterbalance your sleepy hormones. So I'm dealing with that. Also, there's not a lot of fun drinks to drink while you're pregnant. Like, there's water. That's about it. <laughs> there's flavored waters. I usually drink sparkling flavored waters. That's kind of all I have. I don't want to drink juice because it's too sugary. I, I hate herbal tea. I'm just not a tea drinker, y'all. I've tried to drink tea in the past and I, I can't do it. I don't get the appeal. I'm also allergic to most herbal teas. <laughs> I don't like being adventurous when it comes to teas because I feel like a lot of teas have made my throat feel tight after drinking them. So I kind of just avoid it altogether. They're not that enjoyable anyways. They're definitely not worth dying for. <laughs> but I miss coffee. <laughs> Maybe if I get a French press, I can start making myself decaf and that will help break up my days full of water. <laughs> There's gotta be fun things to drink that don't involve alcohol or caffeine and hopefully I will find them. <laughs> Anyways, all that aside, I'm going to get back to thumbnailing. I'm going to try to thumbnail for at least an hour, an hour and a half more, uh, just so I can get a head start for the rest of the week since it's Wednesday and I'd like to, uh, like to finish these this week. So let's wake up and get back to it. Okay, so I didn't do a ton more of work in the thumbnail department. My PC is having issues. Actually, one of my memory sticks has died, and so my PC is working at only 50% memory capacity, and I'll have the memory meter open while I'm working in Photoshop, and I saw it pushing past 80%, and it started worrying me, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to edit in Premiere at this point because when I open up Premiere it goes up to 95% so 
I need to build a new computer, <laughs> which uh, is expensive, but luckily I have a savings account that is for uh, business expenses and uh, all that stuff. So I am pausing the thumbnails for now and I'm going to figure out what to do about the computer. Do I buy new RAM? Do I just build a whole new computer? Only time will tell.